Hey, I'm Tom, W5KUB, and have you ever wanted to have all your ham shack equipment in your car or truck, or maybe at your vacation home or on vacation somewhere? Well, we all know it's impossible. I've got, you know, a thousand wires back there, and somehow they always get so tangled, it takes me hours to untangle them. But I've got a solution for you. We can, for free, we can do a remote base of a radio. And I have dedicated one radio just to a remote base. Uh, or you could use any radio. Let's let's go over and look at it. So, uh, what I'm uh, what I'm going to talk about here is uh, a program called Pocket RX TX, and I've used it uh, about a year ago. And uh, I've just now reinstalled it, and uh, I'm going to keep it for my, my remote base. Uh, this application was built by uh, Dan Toma, Y03GTX, a friend of mine in Romania. And it's very simple. You just load a Java client on your PC, which I will open right here. And it opens up. And this is your configuration screen. And it's very simple. Very simple. First of all, you, you look up your IP address uh, for the PC that's running, and it's going to show right here. Uh, so that's good. You've got to know what COM port you're hooked to on your computer, uh, and then select that. Right now, I am on uh, COM17. That's where my computer is talking to this program. So you can select your COM ports. I'm on COM17. The, uh, the baud rate, of course, has to be set the same as the baud rate in your in your uh, com in your radio uh, for it to communicate and uh, that's about it it operates on port 7048 and that's really about it i'm using cat control and we're going to just start the program up well i think the pro i've got it on auto start so the program has already started okay now let's come back and look at how this thing works let's look at how it works so i've got a tablet right here and I'm going to open up the Pocket RX TX. And first of all, it opens with a couple different things here. This can tune in SDR receivers, which not even connected to your, your home radio, or you can use it as a remote base. Today I'm going to show you how to use it as a remote base. So um, here we go, remote base. Now, the, the setup in here is pretty simple. Um, in the uh, in the setup, you just select the type radio you're using. I'm going to use the TS uh, 570. Set it down. The TS 5, uh, 570 right here. And uh, once you set this radio, then all the commands it sends to the radio uh, are are proper, and they will control the radio. So let's start the program up. All right. So that's what it looks like, and we're going to hold the on button down. And, uh, well, it says connected, but you know, I forgot to do something. Uh, let me turn some power on here. All right. I've got some power on. So you can see, uh, I'll turn the volume down a little. You can see right now the display is showing 7150, 7150. All right. Let's see what we can find. Let's see if we can tune someone in with it. Uh, let's see. Let's look at we can we can either tune with the tuning knob right here. You can see it tuning both the radio and this. Or we can we can touch up here and we can key in a frequency. I'm gonna key in uh 7240. 7.240 enter. And there we go, we've got somebody. So we got somebody on 7240. Let's look at uh, let's look at 7250. I think there was somebody up on 7250 a minute ago. Oh, there's somebody there. You're a little weak. Let me come back down. Thank you. 
So very simple. You got a few controls here. For instance, you control the mode. Right now we're in, we're in lower side band. We're in lower side band, so I'm gonna. You can just select the upper side band, lower side band. Since we're on 40 meters, we'll select upper side band. Uh, you can uh, tune your antenna tuner, your radio, or turn your attenuation on, noise blinkers. You can do all sorts of things with it. If you want to change bands, it's pretty simple. We hit band. And we're going to select, say, 20 meters. And let's go to uh, 14208. Okay, now we got to go to uh, upper side band. There we go. Okay. Oh, so that is going to show you, and you can see, you know, the the, the uh, radio screen and the, the uh, tablet match up. So you can see it's a kind of a neat little app. This app is actually free, uh, and it uh, will put a little advertisement down there. Or if you want to pay for the full version, I think it's like a buck fifty or maybe two dollars for the full version, and you can get it on a, a Play Store. Uh, it works on Android only, so uh, you're going to have to have an Android device like a tablet or a phone. So, let's do this. I'm going to turn it off here. Okay, I've got it off. And uh, I'm going to bring it up on my telephone just to show you how simple it is. I have walked around the neighborhood with an earbud in here and uh, making contacts on my phone. So, let's let's just do this. Let's uh, open it up real quick. And uh, we're going to open up the, the app. Right here, it looks just like it did on the uh, the tablet. We're gonna hit start. Uh, there it is. So we're gonna hold the uh, on button down. It's sending encryption. All right, we've connected. Let me turn this way. Everything works the same. And if you want to change bands, you hit the band button, click your band, change to lower uh, upper side band, and uh, let's go to 14280. Okay, did you hear anybody there? Let's see. Okay, I'm not. Uh, I, I don't know where people are right now, but they're, they're on 20. I listened a minute ago, and 20 was working pretty good. Here we go. He did. He wouldn't know he did. Good thing we got rid of them, because now look how well we are. 14208, 14208. Now, the interesting thing is, uh, let me get off frequency a little. All right, I'm going to transmit. When I hit the uh, transmit button, If I hit the transmit button, you'll notice the Java applet up here. It's going to change colors. Watch. I'm going to hit the, hit the uh, push to talk. So each time I hit the push to talk here, it, uh, it, um, it uh, controls the radio. Now, let's just test and see if uh, what it does to the radio down here. I'm going to talk into my phone here. Test one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See, you can zoom in right there. Test one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, let, me, let me ID. This is Whiskey 5 Kilo Uniform Bravo testing. Okay, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So let me turn it off. It's off. Now, you notice my power supply and the radio are still on, right? Now you don't want to leave that on day and night 
uh, forever, and especially if you're away from home and the antenna's connected. If you have a lightning storm nearby, you know, just a surge, you come down the antenna and wipe the radio out. If you remember, I talked uh, earlier about building a little uh, a control box. Basically, I came off the, the RS-232 cable with, uh, I think I used uh, Request to Send or, or DTR, and I used that to key a little relay inside this box. So when the program was up, uh, we had power, we had the antenna switched, but uh, I think with this uh, version of software I've just downloaded, uh, I can't easily do that anymore. So, there's a simple solution, and Kathy came up with it for me. Do you, have you guys seen, do you know what a Wemo is? There you go. There's a Wemo. These things are running, uh, how much they run, Kathy? $15, maybe $15, 20, $20. But it's just a Wemo, and uh, it's a, a, a Wi-Fi control switch. So I have one right here. I have it here, and I have my power supply plugged into it. So I'm going to go to my phone. I'm going to go to my phone here, and um, uh, I'm going to spring the Wemo app up. So there's my Wemo app right there. And if you'll notice, watch the radio here. Uh, right now, I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the power supply off. It turned the radio off. It turned the power supply off. Let's turn it back on. That's all it takes to turn your radio back on and off. And and um, so I will plug this box into the Wemo. And the Wemo then will turn power on or off to the receptacle. And this receptacle will power the power supply. And then in addition, I will bring, I will bring the antenna in here and out of here to the radio. And the other uh, part of the relay will be grounded. So uh, when the uh, power is off, the relay disconnects the antenna from, from the uh, radio and grounds the antenna. This is just a, you can use any kind of relay for HF, uh, you know, uh, the, the little two, wafer, uh, two wiper uh, relay or just about any relay you can use. This is actually a coaxial relay that came out of an old uh, VHF radio, I think and it was 12 volts. So I put a little 12 volt wall wart transformer in here. It's, it's on the AC and it's hooked to this relay. So when I turn power on with the Wemo, it puts power here, it puts power on the relay, and it switches the antenna, it switches the radio on, and that's about it. So uh, I'll post the links to this, but uh, if you just do a search for Pocket RX TX, uh, you'll find it. Oh, let me say I'm using version three uh, there is uh, uh, a Java client out there called JAREC version 4 right here. Now, it is only compatible with, uh, with the Pocket RXTX version 3. Now, you can run this in the version 3 compatibility mode, but I just decided to just use the version 3 uh, Java here. So, uh, that's, uh, that's about it. I uh, hope you... Uh, I hope I've brought some interesting points to you, and if you have any questions, be glad to answer them. Thanks. Well, or that was the fox hole. That, that was the fox hole. Yeah.